Can I take a look at you? Emerson was given just 30 days to live. The itchy spot. That was seven months ago. <laughs> it was a tumor that couldn't be operated on. He couldn't receive chemo or radiation. Um, they couldn't do surgeries, so they said, you know, maybe you'd want to consider putting him to sleep. Tracy Myers says her nine-year-old bulldog was vomiting, jaundiced, and lethargic, but she wasn't ready to say goodbye. So how's Emerson doing? He, you know what, he's doing great. Um, so Tracy took Emerson difference. to a pet cancer specialist. Yeah. Cancer itself is one of the most prevalent diseases in the animal population. Dr. David Prue is an oncologist with the newly launched VCA Pet Cancer Care Centers. A network of 35 facilities around the country working together with top-of-the-line equipment to provide pets with world-class cancer treatment, including this center in Carlsbad. Probably less than 10% of human facilities have equipment that is this good. Dr. Pru says medical advances focused on animals could one day help humans too. The technology is quickly improving, helping pets survive with a better quality of life. There are newer therapies available where we can try to achieve a good balance between maintaining and preserving quality of life, yet still having a good result. Tracy says Emerson is back to being himself, so her advice to others, thanks to major medical advances, don't immediately assume that your pet's cancer is a death sentence. Just because a vet tells you to put your animal to sleep, you don't have to believe them, you can get another opinion. Steve Price, News 8.